Furthermore, Ross, when you say that, that Elon Musk is disintegrating the brand, I'm intrigued on the grounds that a many individuals, Ross, when they consider Tesla, they think Musk. And when they think Musk, they think Tesla. I mean, they consider him just fundamental. Are you recommending you'd like him to kind of leave stage here? No. I mean, actually, it's to quiet down. I mean, you realize he spends his end of the week railing on migrants and the migration issue. And he, at the end of the day, being a foreigner and it, the view of someone who's clever who can get an H-1B. Visa. You know, saying that individuals who don't have trainings don't merit being in this nation is truly not a method for selling vehicles, particularly in a state like California. Its greatest market, where Tesla deals are down year over year. One must at last embrace the situation that Elon's, you know, racial oppressor inspirations is totally harming the brand. Since he is likened to Tesla, yet to imagine that he's not harming the brand, as of now, is basically oblivious. So Ross, how would you fix it, right? Since you realize there have been ideas, I know you, at the end of the day, had um, kind of a fleeting run for the load up at Tesla. Um, there have been ideas that the load up is excessively close for him, that they're not kind of holding him in line, but rather, is there any practical assumption that there could truly be a free or more free load up if individuals added a Tesla? Well, I think this is the pickle. And one reason where we've sold, you know, a major lump of stock was on the grounds that I don't have the foggiest idea about how this functions since, you know, when I ran for the load up, I understood rapidly that there was no longing for freedom or any retail venture, you know, portrayal on the load up at all. You realize I resembled, you realize. This is certainly not a welcome card, you know. Thus you realize I received in return and presently I've chosen to sell a portion of my stock since I feel that is what financial backers need to do um, when the organization and the load-up won't act to the greatest advantage of its investors, which is it's truly acting to the greatest advantage of one of its investors and not the other 87%. So I think this is a genuine issue for Tesla. I don't have the foggiest idea about how the load-up can push ahead in its momentum cosmetics, since anything they in all actuality do will be sued on the grounds that basically Dell has decided that it's anything but an autonomous load-up, and it's a prerequisite. You realize that it is an autonomous load-up. So assuming they get new load-up individuals that are genuinely free of Elon, this won't function admirably for Elon. And I'm certain he doesn't need that. And you realize I need to make it exceptionally clear. It's not my objective to be on the leading body of Tesla. I'm finished with that I have no craving by any stretch of the imagination and nor is it my objective to see uh, Elon leave Tesla. My objective is for Elon to leave Twitter and to return to Tesla. He really wants to get off Twitter and quit spreading the word about his preposterous conclusions for the general population consistently and return to his occupation as president of Tesla. And that truly needs to occur. Thus, you know, whether that doesn't occur. I believe Tesla's floating, you know, where I don't have the foggiest idea where it goes until there's some BU or someone on the load up that truly needs to defy Elon and anticipates that Tesla should obtain improved results. Brian, we should discuss the top plays inside the area. Since I think declining interest for EVS, that was one of the general accounts that emerged from this past acquiring season is a portion of those fears. Is that exaggerated as of now? Well, I think we have what is going on where the speed of Innov has, in numerous ways, moved quicker than the normal reception bends. Uh, for this, these advancements, especially in the electric vehicle side. So you realize automakers end up posing basic inquiries about their advancement. Um, I believe that um, the electric vehicle future is a certainty. I think the inquiry has truly turned into, it's a question of when. And that while continues to get pushed out, and that, that, is, that is something that we've generally felt here. Um, a ton of the fervor, a ton of the uh, excitement for electric vehicles. It's truly fixated on early adopters to begin um, a portion of the utilization cases, I feel, that are approaching, that are truly thrilling, aren't really in your, the customary light vehicle market. Um, yet, 
as we sort of look forward, I think um, you realize we're genuinely amped up for what's happening in the gas-powered motor piece of the market and truly sort of the push out of uh, what that implies for the more extensive environment. So you realize we are seeing development in electric vehicles right at a more slow speed than, than, we, than what other have been normal. So Brian Genius here. So discussing the huge three specifically, you note that you realize the reception. Ben hasn't actually occur however much they would like it to, or the more profound however much they need it to. What do they misunderstand here? And what could they at any point truly do to sort of obviously, right, and improve them? Place, I don't be guaranteed to realize that they've done anything wrong as such. They expected to have the imprint, the, uh, the items uh, all set. Um, the truth is that we're in this period now where um, 10 of billions of dollars are truly being spent on a yearly premise by the huge three um, towards electric vehicle creation. And it's coming at an at an, um, uh, with a dubious result. Similar to, imagine a scenario in which those vehicles will be embraced. And, and when yet actually they should be there. They should be there from a, a client stance in the end. Yet they likewise, from an administration stance, need to have contribute this money to, to right measure their, uh, their own vehicle structure throughout the span of the following 10 years. Um, what we will see, however, uh, and this has truly sort of borne itself out, whether it's, whether it's GM, whether it's Passage, and whether it's Tesla, is that um, the CapEx will be high income, will be lower, and the edges will be lower. Uh, then they would have, in any case, suspected as much. That that is, that is the, uh, the truth right now for the automakers. Um, it's set out a few decent open doors somewhere else in the, uh, in the auto biological system. Yet this moment, it's a moderately troublesome time. From, an, uh, from the most recent 15 years, reason for uh, you, the conventional automakers, this new report recently showed that financial backers who are wagering against Elon Musk are forfeiting future increases for present unrewarding opinions. And in the end, it could prompt terrible financial backer choices, a next to zero return for money invested on what's in store possibilities of the organization as well, and different things too. Generally, troublesome time. One of the areas, to some degree, inside your portfolio and speculation proposition here, it truly inclines toward unsurprising flexibility. Where does that lead you to, as far as unambiguous names? Sure, so for a better piece of 45 years. Um, our firm, driven by Blemish Gabel, has followed the car business. We held a meeting in Las Vegas, um, displaying the auto post retail. So there's around 285 million vehicles out and about uh, in the US that analyzes to the 16 or 17 million that gets sold from another vehicle premise. So, you know, we truly think as far as the existence pattern of 